Hello everybody. So today we will uh, work on expanding binomials without using Pascal triangles or combinations. So everybody know what x plus y whole square is. That's going to be x squared plus 2x by plus y square. So if it is a negative sign in between then the middle sign uh, of the central term is going to be negative. Otherwise it's positive. That's how it's working. But we have problem when the question is coming or the problem is coming with x plus y whole cube is coming in. Some people still remember it, some are not. So what you need to do, you can put 1 as coefficient x exponent 3. The next term what you need to do, you have to multiply this 1 and this 3 together. And how many terms we have so far? 1 divided by 1 and use positive sign. 3 times 1 is 3 divided by 1 is also 3. That's the next coefficient. Reduce the exponent of x by 1. That's a 2. Y exponent 1. So total need to be 3 in all terms. Next step again use the same system or same process. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And when you will multiply 6, how many terms we have so far? 2 divided by 2 is 3x, reduce 1 exponent and increase y by 1. Next is 3 times 1, same process, 3 times 1 is 3. How many terms so far we have? 3 and divide by 3, so you have 1x exponent 0. We don't need to write that's 1 and y cube. Similarly, if you want to go for any other problem, let's say x uh, plus y raised to power 5, you can open it, x power 5, coefficient is 1, 5 times 1 is 5, divided by uh, 1 is again 5, x4 by 1 plus 5 times 4 is 20, 20 by 2 is 10, x cube by 2, 10 times 3 is 30, and 3 terms again 10, x2 y cube and plus next part is 20 so far terms are 4 so that's going to be 5 x by 4 next one is 5 times 1 is 5 terms are 5 divided by 5 is 1 by 5 so one thing you have to keep in mind everywhere the total number of exponents on x and y should be 5 you can also notice the patterns 1 5 10 the next three terms are reducing 10 5 1 so that's also can be followed i hope this will help you and to understand better uh, have a nice day bye